One more thing, fuck what you done heard about Atlanta. We the Phantom Raiders down the rubber band instead of platinum. I'm a hustler, not a rapper. All right, guys, so halfway through the season, we are sitting at four and three. Our losses came against Tampa Bay, the Green Bay, and the Saints. So we beat the Falcons the first game, and, you know, back-to-back -back losses. And after that, we put, a, we put together a three-game winning streak before losing to Tom Brady and them Buccaneers. Now we're just going to check out, you know, who's injured, the stats and all that, where we sit at. Injury report. Eddie Jackson's out for six weeks. You got Weems out for seven weeks. You know, the fullback, he should be back. So I had to win inside a tight end, transition that tight end, the fullback. So you got Springs, he should be he questionable. And, you know, our right tackle out for the season. So <laughs> it's tough luck for us in the injury department. Stats-wise, Justin Fields is, is tearing it up a little bit, man. No homo on that. But, you know, a little over... 1,100 yards, seven touchdowns, seven interceptions, and that comes with a nearly 60% completion percentage. And he's actually leading the team in rushing with 526 yards, two touchdowns on the ground, followed by Williams, 284 and a touchdown. Now, where is our, where is Montgomery only two attempts? Yo, hold up. We, we got to switch up the depth chart because I, <laughs> I wanted him to start Montgomery. But, nah, we're going to switch that up. Yeah, most definitely. They, they went back and switched it. Like, Riley, no, Mooney. See, this is, <laughs> we want Mooney. Yes, that's all, that's all three, man. No, commit. You know, they went back and changed a lot of these. No. Okay, so we're going to see how we do in the second half of the season. Now that we went back and adjusted a few things, receiving-wise, tight end Harris is leading the receptions with 27 sets, 171. Allen Robinson, 25 receptions, nearly 400 yards, and four touchdowns. Williams added a touchdown with 143. Anthony Miller, 222, 18 receptions, and one touchdown. So we definitely need to get the ball more in, 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 in the end zone. And starting there, Mooney, the rookie wide receiver, 14 receptions, 212, and a touchdown. And after that, it's, it's a big drop-off. Definitely a big drop-off. And just looking at our rankings, you know, halfway through the season, total yards, we are 21st in the league, 4th in the division. Total offense, we are 13th with 3rd in the division. Passing yards, yeah, we, we definitely need to. Justin Fields need to get on the ball, man. Rushing-wise, we are 1st in the division, 6th in the NFL. So we know we can run the ball. We know we can run the ball. Third in division points per game, 23rd in the league. Seven, tied for 17th with passing touchdowns. Racing touchdowns, we are 26, tied for 26. First down is night, tied for 19th. Sacks allows is 24th with 28th. Defense wise, total defense, yo, we are lights out, man. Fourth in total defense. Passing yards, we are fourth. Rushing yards, we are fifth. Sacks who are 19th. We definitely need to get after it. We might have to, you know, switch um, Khalil Mack to defensive end and move Hacks to defensive tackle. So we can get them more production of the total sacks. Interceptions halfway through the season. We are 10th. Well, we got 10 tied for the 11th. And so we, we, we can definitely get defense-wise, we are stepping up, man. This offense is sorry, just points we get. Get just in the red zone. We need to put more points on the board. And it starts by, you know, the head, Justin Fields. You know what I mean? So. All right, guys. You, as you can see, we finished 6 and 10 on the season. 6 and 10. Our losses came against Minnesota, Seattle, Denver, Kansas City, my real life Las Vegas Raiders, the Chargers, the Buccaneers, the Vikings, the Lions. The Saints and, and the Saints, man. So six and ten is expected, but going into you know the draft and so on and so forth, this five year rebuild, we hope for the wins will double and triple. You know what I mean? So hopefully we can make the playoffs going forward. I mean drafting Justin Fields, we will get it later into that video. And you know, hopefully he can win, get us get Chicago Bears over that hunt, cause this last time it's been 
1985, I believe, was the last time they actually won a Super Bowl. So let's get over to, you know, the stats, the yellow awards and all that, defensive player of the year and all that. So your MVP goes to Russell Wilson, who finished the season almost 3,900-yard passing, 37 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. And this dude then racked up over 1,200 yards rushing, man, 10 touchdowns on the ground. That's crazy. So that's 47 total touchdowns. Follow behind him, Amari Jackson, nearly 3,000 yard pass and 14 touchdown passes, 16 in the session. Before I even go to rushing, I can guarantee it's due to rush way for rush for way more rushing yards than Russell Wilson. Look at that, bro. 2,000 yards rushing with 23 touchdowns. Like yo, I thought Mike Vick was a fucking cheat code back in the day. Yo, this is damn crazy. Followed by Patrick Mahomes. Cam Newton is back. He got his New England Patriots 13-3. and three. That's crazy. Offensive player of the year, Lamar Jackson. Defensive player of the year, Bobby Wagner. The Seattle finished 15-1. and one. Bobby Wagner, 131 tackles, 10 sacks, 9 big hits, 4 interceptions. Offensive worker of the year, go to Tua. Followed by Justin Jefferson. Jonathan Taylor, Jalen Hurts, and Clyde Eller Elair. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> Defensive record of the year go to Logan Wilson from Cincinnati. 96 tackle, 12 sacks, 6 big hits, and 1 interception. He went to Wyoming. Okay. Best QB goes to Russell Wilson. Best running back, Ezekiel Elliott, who finished with over 1,400 yards, 9 touchdowns on the ground. Okay. Best wide receiver go to Tariq Hill. This dude had over 1,700 yards, 15 touchdowns. That is crazy. 101 receptions. Best O-line go to David Andrews protecting Cam Newton. Best D-lineman go to Gerald Hasty. Hasty? Surprise. Uh, Aaron Donald's not up there. <laughs> Best linebacker obviously go to Bobby Wagner. Best DB, Harrison Smith. 85 tackles, 5 interceptions. Best kicker, go to Matt Prater from Detroit, man. That's it for the yearly awards. Now let's take out the stats. Now, Andy Dalton had finished a little under 3,000 yards passing, 15 touchdowns, 24 interceptions, man. That go along with a 57% percent completion percentage. That is crazy. David Montgomery finished with 825 on the ground, followed by five touchdowns. And the fullback is the next Leading rusher on the team. So where is Tariq Corn is not even up here. That's crazy. Receiving wise, Allen Robinson goes over 1,100 yards, followed by seven touchdowns. Cole commit 61 receptions, 43 and three touchdowns. And after that, it's a huge drop off. <laughs> a huge drop off. I wonder if he is injured or not. Let, let's let's check and see. Let's check out the injury report. And I like, in this game, well, he's out for the season. That's why. You, you lose that versatile running back like that, man. That third down running back that can catch the ball, pump return, kick return, kick off. That hurts, man. Now, in this game, you can lose, you can, you know, career ending injuries. You know what I mean? So, Wow, a lot of guys are out for the season. That's crazy, man. But let's get straight into this offseason free agent signing in the draft, man. All right, guys. I feel it. I had a feeling it's gonna come down to these two teams. <laughs> Baltimore versus Seattle. Now, Baltimore has the second ring offense. Seattle, number one. Seattle for defense. They got total six rated total defense, and Baltimore is ranked 10. My money is on Seattle. Let me know, chat. Just let me know who y'all got, man, before I, I'm, I'm going to do it. I ain't going to cut scene. It's going to simulate it, and we're going to see who's going to win. I, I knew it. I knew it, man. I knew Seattle 18 and 1. That's fucking crazy. All right, passing wise, Lamar Jackson, 264, one touchdown. Russell Wilson, 246, three touchdowns, three interceptions. Rushing wise, they held Lamar Jackson in check. Eight, eight rushing, 73 yards, one touchdown. Russell Wilson, six rushes, 54 yards in the touch. So it, was, it really wasn't not much running going on as far as quarterbacks. So it is what it is, man. But let's get straight into this offseason. 
All right, guys, here we are in the offseason, man. Just a couple of free agent names. You got George Kittle re-signing with the 49ers, the fullback going to Tampa Bay, Tap McKinnon to the Denver, Trent Williams to the New England. Yo, Richard Sherman pairing up with Pat P. That's going to be a crazy one-two punch, even though they up there in age. But Vinny Curry, just this not too big of a name, so you know what I mean? Deion Jordan, Kyle Rudolph going to Houston. Rashad Jones, Ricardo Allen going to Baltimore. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. And these are our draft picks, man. These are our draft picks. Now, I try to get it as very close as possible, especially in like the first two rounds. Very close. Y'all chat, just let me know, man. In the comment section, just let me know. Everything is, you know, I try to correct every team with, especially like the first two rounds. Like I just said, the first two rounds. Really try to get it close as possible. But the New Orleans Saints, that defensive end, um, that's not that's that's the only other downside about it. The New England, the New Orleans Saints, you know, that's the wrong person, you know what I mean. But other than that, I feel like I got it about ninety five percent accurate as far as the first two rounds. Now, some of these people in the draft class are already in Madden, you know what I mean. They hear all the stats on Justin Fields. I feel like that speed should be a little bit higher, man. I know I've been giving y'all sneak peeks here and there, but you know what I mean? 94 agility, 87 speed. And that will go up during this five, you know, five-year rebuild. No doubt it's going to go up. Devontae Smith, man. Patrick Tertain, J.C. Horn. Yo, and these ratings? <laughs> it's like outrageous, man. Outrageous. I believe... I had to redo it because, you know, Kyle Pitts was a 99 overall. It was crazy, man. So I had to redo everything. Now we back at it, man. But uh, you, you, you see the names, man. You, you see the names. But here we're on the preseason, man. The preseason. We're taking on each Ricky. Trey Lance here are the stats on them. Well, we are dead last. And, you know, we 2-2, two and two, man. Beat the 49ers. Beat the Patriots. You know, lost to the Patriots, lost to the Jets. My apologies. And one against Jacksonville. Here are the final stats of the four preseason games. Justin Fields, 45. Four touchdowns, two interceptions with a 54% completion percentage. Andy Dalton, yo, he on his last legs, man. 398 through four preseason games. Justin Fields, 107 yards, one touchdown. And outside of that, Andy Dalton showing off the wheels as a second leading rusher. David Montgomery, eight yard. Tariq Cohen, 52 yards, so we know we can run the ball, man. A wide receiver one. Yo, Allen Robinson sitting on here is a beast, man. I, I promise y'all he's a beast, man. Cole Komet is another weapon for uh, Justin Fields. Riley Ridley, we all try to get him, you know, because then you can, you can do training camps. So that's what we're going to do, man. Here are his chats, stats on Trey Lance, 425. Three touchdowns, four in the session with a 50% completion percentage. And that, that's... Pretty decent by size of the interception, man. You know, Trevor Lawrence, 467, two touchdowns, four INTs with a 47%, no, 61% completion percentage. Uh, Zach Wilson, 340, and one touchdown. Was expecting a lot more from him. Two interceptions, 66% completion percentage. Zach. So he definitely, complete, he definitely can sling it, man. He just got to get it in the end zone. Matt Jones, 431, the one touchdown, two in the and 58% completion percentage. So, here we are, man. We finished the season. We finished eighth and eight. Lost against the Texans. I don't see how in the hell we lost to the Texans, man. Lost to the Vikings. Lost to the Packers. Lost to the Lions. Lost to the Lions again. They swept us in the series. Lost to the Rams. Lost to the Seahawks. Yo, the Seahawks are fucking 16 and 0, bro. 16 and old. That shit is crazy, man. But here are the stats. Ricky stats on Justin Fields. Good God almighty. 11 touchdowns, 26 interceptions. That's crazy. 51% completion percentage. Hey, that's some stats for Ricky, man. And he had over 1,000 yards resting going on five touchdowns. David Montgomery, 590. Five touchdowns. And after that, it's pretty much a drop off. I don't see Tariq Cohen. That's crazy. Allen Robinson cracked the thousand yard mark with, going on with six touchdowns through the air. Cole commit. 41 section, 297 and touchdown. After that, it is, yo, 
We got to get Justin Fields awareness up. You know, awareness means a lot in this game, man. But MVP Lamar Jackson, I'm not, yo, this dude on here is a cheat code, bro. You know, over 3,100 yards, 28 touchdowns, 23 interceptions. This dude is a cheat code, bro. And his rush, yo, look at the fucking rushing, bro. 20, yo, this shit is crazy. Then the 2,700 yards race, and they, they got a record of 15 and 1. Offense player of the year, Lamar Jackson. Defense player of the year, your very own Roquan Smith. Yo, he's coming along very nice, man. Though we're gonna bump that awareness up and that tackling up and training camp. He's gonna be one of the best in the league. That's gonna be facts. Offensive rookie of the year, Justin Fields. Zach Wilson, Trevor Lawrence, T. Higgins. And to be honest with y'all, I don't know who this last guy is. A fullback? Really? <laughs> Defensive player of the year, Evan Weaver. Followed by the safety from TCU. And Evan Weaver, not really fast. He had 125 tackles, though. <laughs> best QB go to Patrick Mahomes. Best running back, Christian McCaffrey. Best wide receiver. The dude had over 2,100 yards receiving. That's crazy. Best offensive lineman, Ronnie Staley. Best D-line, Daryl Taylor. Best linebacker, yours truly. Best DB, Jamal Adams. Best kicker, Justin Tucker. Coach of the year, yo, that's crazy. 16 and 0. Can they complete the perfect season? That is the big question, man. And this is the playoffs, man. I'm not going to skip it or nothing. We're going to simulate the playoffs. I'm not. There's no cut scenes involved, man, in the playoffs. The Chiefs won. Green Bay won. Miami won. And Atlanta. That's crazy. Definitely expecting on the Vikings to beat the Falcons on that one. Baltimore won, of course. Falcons won, the Colts won, Cowboys, wow, and the Falcons beat the fucking Seahawks, yo, that's crazy, it is Baltimore and Dallas in the Super Bowl, that's crazy, and we're gonna go ahead and skip the, you know, the Pro Bowl, and Super Bowl matchup, man, here's the stats, man, Dallas got the eighth ring offense, total total offense, man. They could definitely rush that rock, man. Tenth in total defense, Baltimore. Bottom of the bear in total defense, man. They second in total offense, and Dallas ended up winning the Super Bowl, bro. Dallas, the last time I checked, I believe it was like the mid-90s last time they actually won. But Lamar Jackson, 195, one touchdown, one INT. Dak Prescott, 187. Really didn't get it done through the air. So they definitely was, Ezekiel Elliott was definitely feeding, man. 24 attempts, 98 yards, and three touchdowns. That Prescott added another TD on the ground. Lamar Jackson just couldn't get it done, man. They definitely held him in check, man. Let's get traded to this offseason. Resigning some players. A lot of these players, we're going to use trade bait, get some extra draft picks, you know what I mean? Kyle Fuller, we definitely going to re-sign him. He's getting up there in age, but, you know, you can't knock him for that rating. And, you know, this is a rebuild. You know what I mean? We're going to let him go. And we straight on corners, man. We definitely Roquan Smith. Bro, I'm so excited about, you know, the anchor of that defense, man. Just looking at him. Well, yeah, we're going to go ahead and sign him, man. A little free the special teams. Definitely going to be special teams. Oh, we might Akeem Hicks, bro. We just gonna let you go, man. You up there in age. We got pinup back up. Pretty young guys. They they hungry, man. They ready to eat. All right, we gonna go ahead and sign him to a two year deal. A lot of these guys definitely, you know, role players, man. Special teams. You feel me? So that's what these a lot of these guys are. And they, they might develop some playing time. So over the course of this rebuild. Definitely going to sign you. We, we got to keep our franchise quarterback protected. Definitely protected, man. He has to get smarter, man. He definitely will. We got that one-two punch at receiver, but we we might need to add a third one. We might add a third one in this draft, so you just never know, man. If I run it back, I feel like we straight. We straight on. We definitely straight with the quarterback situation that we have. These are the prospects you're looking at, bro. Yes. 
<laughs> yes, sir, man. If we can get our hands on him, we're going to make a couple trades, man. If we, we, that's going to be our first-round draft pick right here. You see a scouting report on this dude, man. And you got to add the teammate, Chris Olave, man. It's gonna, even though he's projected a third-round pick, yo, we got our one-two punch. We got our one-two picks, you know, stamped, man. These going to be our first two picks. As you can see, we got made a trade to Cleveland Browns. We, we got the Panthers second round, 20th pick. Yo, we made some trades. <laughs> Definitely the Lions. We stacked on these draft picks. Definitely got the Panthers, the Lions. I'm telling you, bro. We want Chicago Bears to win the Super Bowl. Here on our draft picks, man. The draft picks, we're going to sign them. We're going to let y'all see the ratings. Armani Rodgers, a huge kid, man. Definitely going to take up that, that QB2 role. <laughs> Definitely for Andy Dalton. Not the eye-popping stats that I like, but, hey, definitely will assert it as a definite backup to Justin Fields. Cole Van, a left tackle, coming in to 77 overall. Here, see his ratings. We got to, you know, yo, it all starts up front. Definitely starts up front. If we could keep him upright and give him some more awareness, Justin Fields, yo, we good. And I like this guy, Willie Johnson, definitely has speed on him. Speed, acceleration. And we're going to check out his kick return. He cannot kick return, but we're going to throw his ass back there. You just cannot deny that speed. Now, the left outside line, we definitely need depth. Definitely need to get it faster. Because we got Robert Quinn, who's up there in age, and the other position. Yeah, we just need speed, man. Youth and speed. Let's see what he's looking like. 81 overall. Okay. And just to inform you guys, man, when you import these rosters, the ratings of these rookies be sky high, man. Definitely sky high. Will Sutherland. This should be faster for a, especially for a strong safety man, but he definitely has the height on him. Need to work on that speed and tackling, but he did he definitely will do that, man. Starting off on special teams, Harrison Hand, 82 overall. Definitely got some speed on him. We definitely that's another thing. We definitely need to get some speed and youth at cornerback. So that's why they need a lot of these positions. We're gonna develop a lot of these young guys, and they eventually they're gonna become the starters. And this guy right here, Jack Heflin, definitely got some, yo, he gets some strength on him. He's going to be fucking dangerous, man. 6'3", 304, nice size. And on him, Chris Olave, bro. We had to get Justin Fields, somebody he was comfortable with. Look at the stats, man. We got our one, two, and three wide receiver book, man. We got it booked. Derek Stingley, bro. I can't wait to see what his rating is. The roster is full, so we had to go back and make a couple switches. You know what I mean? So, release some couple players, and here we are, man. The moment of truth. See what I mean? A 90 fucking five, bro. 95. But that's the interview, too, man. This is only part one. Part two is coming at you. It's me, Create Game C8. Hope you want to call me. Till next time, I'm gone. I don't know.